Hey you guys and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and create a Minecraft server. This will work for both Craft Bucket and Spigot and it will work for any future updates as well. Just follow the same process but change the name of the file. So what you want to do is start off by downloading Git and also download Build Tools. Both of the links will be in the description. Just make sure you download those first. And then what you want to do is create a folder like this and just have them both in the same place. Start off by installing Git. I've already done this so I won't bother on this go but do just download this first. Once you've got that all up and running, uh, in the description you'll see all of this information. You just want to follow the steps that I've put. Uh, I will show you in this video exactly what you need to do. But the first thing you need to do is, if you've got a 64-bit or a 32-bit, just copy this code. Go over to your folder, right-click, go to New, and then just create a text document. Go into the file and just paste in the code that I've given you. Press File, Save As, and then just call this Update.sh make sure you select all files this is really important as if you don't do this this will not work and then press save then you've got this update file just double click it and let this process run this may take a while so do just leave it running so once it's all done you'll have a file created for spigot and for craft bucket you just need to decide which one you're going to use then in the description you'll see this link here, just copy the code, you just need to change craft bucket to spigot if you're using the other version, just decide which one you're going to use out of the two, but use this same formula for the code. Go back to your plain document, paste this code in, go to file, save as, and then name this one start.bat, and then make sure you go to all files again. Press save, and then you'll see that it creates the file for start.bat, double click it and you'll see it creates this it will load up and it will stay that you haven't accepted something so when it does it you'll see uh, you've got to agree to the EULA first so quickly load that up and that will be here just do that change this to true and then just save so file save uh, obviously if you want to read all that please do I'm not telling you to accept it without reading it uh, so accept that then double click start again and it will load up and this time it will create your file for your server and it will start running it. So just wait for this to all load as well. Okay, so once it's all loaded up, go on to Minecraft, click multiplayer, go to direct connect and just type in localhost and click join server. And this will join your localhost server. So this is in that file that we've just created. Uh, obviously your friends can't join this one at the moment, but you can do that via Hamachi. Uh, or other port forwarding services but for this it's just so you can create your own server on your computer on your local host and it just means you've got the ability to create your server before you launch it and you can mess around with all the different plugins to install plugins all you need to do is go to the folder where it says plugins and download them into this space then when you run your server from fresh again or type reload it will just start it again and then any new plugins that you've installed will just be on the server so if you want any plugin ideas, please check out my channel. I've got loads of videos on plugins and there will be more to come. If you've liked this video, please consider subscribing. Do press the notification bell for future uploads. And thanks very much for your time and watching today. Bye.